I was promised hoverboards. We're fine. She knows what day it is. Never forget. I know, not usually the guy who freaks out. Hey, yeah. I'm also mad about what Dan's talking it's about. 2015. Yeah, yeah, and that makes us furious. We were told 2014 was gonna last forever. That is not what we're mad about. Oh, no? What then? Oh. Didn't we already talk about Back to the Future? I seem to remember. What are we talking about? Back, Back to the Future. Ah! Pass. That's okay. Pass on that memory. Yeah, I'm fine not remembering how young we all looked in that particular memory. Plus, this is about a hoverboard debt. Back to the Future 2 is set in 2015, and all those chowderheads got hoverboards. Mother f***ing chowderheads. Where's my piece of the hoverboard pot? You were only promised hoverboards in that timeline. A timeline in which Marty uses skateboarding to dump poop on his arch enemy in front of the entire town. <laughs> He literally shits on him. See, we are in this timeline. In which that didn't happen until 1996, when a nose grind into poop dump was used by Bill Clinton to defeat Bob Dole. Yeah, and see, Marty made skateboarding the new thing for counterculture nerds to get into. So in the Back to the Future universe, everybody puts their energy behind skateboard technology instead of computers? No, I mean, computers were still important. Silicon Valley's DNA has always been half rock and roll, which Marty ruined when he stole it from Chuck Berry. <laughs> He kind of ruined it by straight ruining it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he nails Johnny B. Good. He does an objectively terrible version of the very first rock song ever, and somehow it's piped directly into Chuck Berry's brain as he's supposed to be inventing it. I mean, rock and roll was the coolest thing that you could be into in 1950s in our timeline. But in the Back to the Future timeline, it sucks because the acorn is Marty's shitty version of Johnny B. Good. So in their timeline, the coolest thing to do is skateboarding. So if Katie's right about how counterculture spreads on the streets, then instead of Chuck Berry being the spark that gave the Beatles the idea for Beatlemania, then in the Back to the Funiverse, Calvin Klein gives 1950s Tony Hawk the idea to alley-oop all over our faces. Alley-oop is a basketball term. Daniel, have some self-respect. I, I said alley-oop. No, you didn't. I actually bought Ollie, it. Ollie, like, well, the skateboard I'm term. Sorry. I actually buy it. 1950s version of Tony Hawk was learning to shred face in a time when the sexiest thing people knew how to do with a human body was the hokey pokey. That's why that timeline has hoverboards. I mean, instead of being into rock and roll, Steve Jobs was into skateboarding. That would explain why their version of 2015's all punk rock. So the flared jeans inspired by hippies is replaced by the skater punk aesthetic. Both both of which are equally terrible, by the way. Just dress normally, everybody. That's why the version of 2015 that has hoverboards is also missing a lot of stuff that we have in our timeline. Also, Marty's timeline had he not gone back. I mean, they have hoverboards, but we have GPS and self-driving cars and iPads and an app that will deliver Taco Bell directly to your door. Oh, and prostitutes. I can deliver Taco Bell right to my prostitute? What's the name of the... Oh, prostitutes will come to your... Door. Okay, that's an even better service. Why are we even talking about Steve Jobs? Oh, what, you a Bill Gate guy? You can just uh, imagine Bill Gate was super into skateboarding. Oh, you know that it's Gates and boards. Oh, excuses me, everyone, that I don't study every word that's got an S on the end of it. No, I mean, who even cares about Steve Jobs? In the original timeline, Doc Brown is more powerful than any human that has ever lived in ours. We're all for recycling. Wait a minute, what are you doing, Doc? I need fuel. Go ahead, quit, get the car. Think about when Marty wakes up at the end of the movie. His parents are different people, rich people, who raised a rich kid who got the Jeep he wanted when he wanted. But if he's so different, why'd he do everything exactly the same way as original Marty? Exactly. Why does someone that looks like Marty even exist in the first place? His parents just play tennis and smack asses. George! For the exact same Marty to exist, then his cocky, tennis-playing, ass-slapping father would need to make love to his hip, cool, sexually satisfied mother at the exact same time of the exact same day. So you're just saying that Doc Brown was just creeping around in the shadows singing kiss the girl to them all day? And the exact same one sperm out of tens of millions would have to reach the same egg that made Marty as the egg and the sperm that combined in the original timeline that made Marty when his parents were both losers. That's impossible. No, it checks out. That's the reproductive cycle. So it's a plot hole? Right. Of course, Doc Brown didn't orchestrate Lorraine and George's sex life that perfectly. So, there has to be some other reason why both Martys are exactly the same in both timelines. Marty's the Antichrist. Nope, not that at all. I was getting there. You were not. Let's think about Doc Brown. The version that we knew in the beginning of the movie was a mad scientist, but 
there was plenty of reason to suspect that there was more going on than Marty realized. Sure, stealing nuclear active material from a major terrorist threat. Which isn't remotely surprising when you realize that the Doc Brown at the end of the movie isn't just some mad scientist who caught lightning in the bottle. At the end of the movie, he's not merely the first guy to stumble onto time travel. He's had access to time travel for 30 years. He's a time lord. I came here in a time machine that you invented. I finally invent something that works. A tremendous amount of power. And with that kind of power comes... Just flagrant human rights abuses. The only way for the end of Back to the Future to make sense is if Doc Brown is kidnapping or killing at least a few Martys from different timelines. When poor Marty shows up back in the 80s, he's not quantum leap jumping into some body. He's physically showing up and when his parents see him, they're like, oh yes, that's you, are what our son looks like. We agree about this. Which means he's taking some other Marty's place. Some Marty that Doc Brown made disappear. Also that our version of Marty, the poor Marty and his new rich parents won't ask questions when he comes back from the future. And so he could get a stupid truck or whatever. So I guess it's no coincidence then that he only gets to experience his new life for like five minutes before Doc Brown whisks him off to some other conflict. One timeline out of millions that Doc Brown probably manipulated into existence. All of that just to make conditions right for the OG Marty? For the one version of Marty that saved his life. Man, that is a shockingly selfish use of time travel. Yeah, but that's the world that has hoverboards and rock and roll musics that shittier than our music and is puppeteered by a mad scientist whose like sole agenda is to bring pleasure to his teenage friends. So yes, Daniel, you were promised hoverboards, but at what cost? A few dead Martys. I'd kill an army of Martys for a single hoverboard. Uh, I don't know him. I don't, I certainly don't know nine of him. Uh, my prostitute's gonna be here any minute. So you have ordered her so. here? Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode and happy Back to the Future Day. Make sure you subscribe and watch other videos and uh, like and comment, comment below. You know, speaking of comments, one of the most popular ones we get, people are always asking us, how much of this food do we eat when we're on set? That's a great question because obviously it looks delicious and, and so when we see it, we really want to eat it. But that's its only job is to look yeah. delicious. It's actually pretty cold and rubbery yeah. and really There's just, I would describe it as flaccid. A full on gnat that has been fused to this pepper. So none, we don't eat any of the food because of all those reasons. You see the bugs that are flying. Dibs on that pepper.